good evening thank you for joining this live session uh, a couple of you had asked questions on the comment section and i thought i'll have a quick review of nasolacrimal duct obstruction so it's a very common problem uh, it starts manifesting around 3 to 4 weeks of age uh, remember that the babies do not produce tears in the first uh, two weeks or so and by the third week they start producing tears because the nasolacrimal duct is not draining the tears in the initial period there is often uh, blockage and it's not uncommon but if it persists it is called the nasolacrimal duct obstruction and this is uh, how it manifests a baby with VP eyes uh, can be sticky mucus or it can be watery and this is the anatomy the lacrimal gland is present in the upper eyelid it produces tears and as I said first two weeks there is no tears or minimal tears and then it starts forming and subsequently the tear is drained by the puncta into the canaliculi take it uh, to the nasolacrimal or tear duct and that drains into the nose so obviously any congestion in the nose aggravates this blockage so if there is a pre-existing block the drainage is obstructed more uh, we need to tell the parents that it's benign and uh, most of the time there is no infection it may appear sticky because when uh, the tears overflow especially when the baby is sleeping the mucus uh, that is part of the secretions tends to stain stick together so you may find yellowish secretions that stick in the lower uh, part it, if you clean it goes away so the ways to differentiate it from infection is la lack of redness and also uh, when you clean it after the baby wakes up it doesn't accumulate immediately if there is infection it tends to be VP even when the baby is not sleeping so this is one way to differentiate obviously if it's persisting and it becomes pus like we may need to treat with antibiotics for a few days eye drops uh, should be adequate but don't keep repeating the antibiotic drops uh, if it is just the mucus the child is not bothered by it the treatment for it is just massage and the aim of the massage is uh, downward pressure on the uh, nasolacrimal duct in the upper part and when you release it the blockage may release temporarily uh, so the index finger is placed over the superior aspect of the nasolacrimal sac so this portion and then moderate pressure is applied downward the downward pressure may cause rupture of the membranous obstruction but uh, this is not going to be dramatic because many times the parents keep massaging for months together and it doesn't still relieve so there is a narrowing of the tube and with age uh, the tear production uh, reduces as well and uh, obviously the drainage becomes more efficient so most of the babies do not need any treatment apart from the cleaning of this crusting and the massage uh, however if the massage is not effective and it persists beyond one year especially with tear overflow as a child is growing up you may need uh, ophthalmologic procedure it does need general anesthesia and they do wiring of this or probing of this uh, nasolacrimal uh, duct which is blocked so depending on which side is obstructed they may do it unilaterally or bilaterally and the outcome is usually good I have not seen uh, many cases needing probing probably just uh, two babies or so in the past 20 years so it's not a big number that needs treatment so it's a fairly common problem which worries the parents but reassurance is a mainstay so uh, this is about nasolacrimal duct obstruction and I hope uh, this part is useful